Hello everybody, Zero Fossil Fuel. Today is Tuesday, March 5th, 2013, and this is an update from the workshop on the rocket stove. I've had several weeks now to live with the rocket stove. I'm very happy with it. Uh, heats up the shop very nicely, and I think now it's time to take a look inside and see how it has fared over the last several weeks. Um, I'm going to show you how I clean it out. I'm going to show you how I uh, start it up and also how I inspect the inside of the tank. Today I'm doing something a little different. I'm recording these, this entire video using one of the many Logitech webcams that I kind of went crazy recently and purchased a whole bunch of. Uh, I've got uh, cameras spread around the shop all over the place now. I've got the face cam. Uh, I will show you the rocket cam and behind me is the over-the-shoulder cam. Hiya! <laughs> so here's the camera angle that I jokingly call the rocket cam. Uh, with this camera I can keep an eye on my own rocket stove whether I'm uh, working in the shop and not paying attention over in the corner uh, or if I happen to walk away from the shop and go up to the house I have my uh, Justin TV viewer for my Android phone. <laughs> I can watch the rocket stove burn. I still don't quite trust it, but uh, I'm, I'm slowly beginning to build my trust of the, the way this thing burns and uh, how safe that it is, but never can be too sure, so I just want to make sure that I always keep an eye on it, no matter where I am, as long as it's running. Um, so, let's, let's get to uh, cleaning it out and taking it apart and performing our first inspection. Okay, I'm now using the microphone on the rocket cam. Incidentally, all of these microphones are USB microphones. And uh, I'm just going to take the top cover off, take my brick with the rope off. And the way I get into the box to clean this off is pretty simple. A little, little cumbersome, but I can deal with it. My vent collar just comes off the top, my wood hopper, whatever. I've got three wing nuts on the front plate. Spin my wing nuts off. Front plate comes off. Front brick to the firebox comes out just like that. And now I can reach in with my little homebrew hoe and scoop the ash out. I'm just going to catch it with a piece of uh, cardboard paper. So I reach in with my hoe. and that's it. Ready to uh, burn for about two or three more days before it needs its next cleaning. And this is how much ash I create in two or three days worth of burning the stove throughout an evening. Maybe uh, four or five hours at a time. I'm still mulling over ideas in my head about uh, ways to create an ash pit with a grate at the bottom might make uh, this process a little bit more streamlined but it's not bad it's not that bad and there it is ready to burn again but for right now before I light it up again I'm going to take this off and we're going to get our first look inside the tank this is literally my first look inside the uh, tank in about four weeks. 
So we're both going to see this for the first time together. It just comes off like so. And as I expected, there is a little bit of ash. Yeah, there is some ash in there. No question. So it's probably time for a vacuuming. I will get the vacuum in here and I will also take off the cap at the bottom of the T for the vertical flue and clean out any ash that may have uh, accumulated in the flue. Just a little bit on the outside here. The fiberglass insulation seems to have held up very nicely. I will be inspecting that more closely in just a few minutes. All right, so I'm not sure how well you can see this. I'm going to shine a light down here. All right, you can, you might be able to see some of the ash down at the bottom, and it hasn't really settled into the center. It just sort of uh, settled along the bottom around the rim and around the edge here. So I'm going to uh, vacuum it off and uh, vacuum it out. Say this: the uh, the internals, the, uh, the the metal box that I created for the fire brick, the carrier inside, held up has held up extremely well, despite its thin gauge. There you go. Okay. So yeah. I do have a little bit of ash in the bottom of the T at the base of the flue stack, and that is four weeks worth or thereabouts <coughs> of ash that made it up over the riser, down to the base of the tank, and out the flue. Not bad, not bad at all. Very light and fluffy. Down the side. Looks clean. Everything is uh, holding together well. Condition of the galvanized pipe on the outside is excellent. My fiberglass insulation is still nice and tight inside there, so it's not deteriorating. I'm very happy. Okay, so let's put the tank back, tank cover back on. That again just sits with its own weight against the fiberglass rope, creates a nice tight seal. And that's it. We're ready to uh, we're ready to start burning again. Okay, so to start the stove, got a couple of pieces of uh, cedar shingle that I've split apart. 
and some scrap paper that I use for starting. Preferably one that I've already started taking apart. So just throw a couple of pieces of scrap in there. instant draft and a sideways burn throw my starter kindling on there Is a hardwood in front of my kindling. stove off and running. In about 30 minutes this will be up to temperature and uh, producing really nice heat. That's all for now from the workshop, Zero Fossil Fuel. Peace, everyone.